Hey everyone, welcome to Dev Runner. My name is Paul. I'm an endurance runner and an RRCA certified running coach. And this is my unboxing or <laughs> unbagging, if you will, and full review of a couple of pieces of Saucony running attire, which I just purchased in order to better deal with training in the blazing summer heat. In this particular bag, I hope to find a Saucony stopwatch singlet. And in this bag, I hope to find a pair of Saucony Elite tight shorts. I'm going to get them out of the bag for you. I will run through the specs and then we'll get them out for a test run. And this way you will know if these are right for you. So thank you for joining me. Here we go. All right, thanks for sticking around. Let's get right to it and get this stuff out of the bags. This, hopefully, and is my new Saucony stopwatch singlet, which is supposed to be a very, very, very lightweight racerback singlet. And this should be my Saucony Elite Tight Shorts. Let's see what we've got. Wow, I love them. All right, folks, let's run through the specs. Then I'll get this stuff on so you can have a quick look before I head out for a 13 mile long run in the heat. And then I'll follow that up with my final thoughts on whether I think this is a good investment for anybody looking for some hot weather running gear. All right, folks, I just wanted to give you a quick look at the gear before I head out for my first run. The first thing I want to tell you about is the stopwatch singlet. I think it's a great length. I think it hangs just to a perfect length. And uh, it is a very, very lightweight material. On top of that, it is highly perforated. I can actually feel the breeze in the room moving through the garment as I stand here filming this. Um, you can probably see through the garment itself. I don't know if the camera picks that up, but in person you can see through the top. So uh, something to keep in mind if you're looking for a little bit of privacy. This is definitely not the top for you. This is just all about staying cool in the heat. Uh, as you can see on the back, it's a, a very deep racer back cut. So no complaints there. It should do it the utmost to keep you cool when you're out there pushing hard, whether it's a hot or cold day. And now, as far as the Elite tight shorts go, I think they're a wonderful fit. The, I don't know if you can see it on camera. It's hard to uh, position myself where you can see my whole body and still hear me clearly. So um, the bottom hem of the legs on these sit about three or four inches above my kneecap. The uh, bottom hem is elasticized and rubberized so that it will stay in place as you run. The uh, front is double lined so that there's a certain amount of discretion that can be maintained. Now, uh, a piece of innovation that I've never seen in another pair of shorts in the history of my running, which I think is absolutely brilliant that Saucony pulled this off. Instead of the tie that goes around the waistband having two ends, that can get lost inside the waistband if you run it through the washer or dryer. It is actually a complete loop so that there is no way it can get lost in the waistband. All you have to do is just tie a quick knot when you've got it cinched down to your particular waist size and you're off and you're running.
folks. Now for my final thoughts on the Saucony Stopwatch Singlet and the Saucony Elite Tight Shorts. I have run in them both four times, totaling over 55 miles, so I feel like I can provide a good and honest opinion for you. The singlet itself has been through the wash and the dryer four times. It has not shrunk. It continues to hold up, hold its shape, and do what it's supposed to do, which is keep you cool out there. As you saw in some of the footage that I provided earlier in this video, it did hold on to some of the sweat, but uh, keep in mind that that was shot in 97 degree heat with 95% humidity. I have never owned a singlet or even any other form of running shirt that does not retain a certain amount of sweat when it's that hot and you are sweating that profusely. So there's nothing really that I can say against this particular garment. Uh, the one thing I will say against it is that it is a little bit of a loose fit. So if you are looking for something that is a little tighter to your skin, uh, you may want to go with a different shirt. Uh, personally, I like a tighter, slimmer fit on a singlet when I am racing because uh, then you don't feel it moving against your arms as you're moving back and forth. And, uh, you know, I don't like something that sort of takes my mind off of the task at hand. Uh, a very minor annoyance, but uh, if you're looking for a great hot weather singlet, you're not going to do really any better than the Saucony Stopwatch singlet. Now, when it comes to the Elite Tight Shorts, I have to say I've got nothing but raves about this particular pair of shorts. The 7-inch inseam is short enough to allow you to stay cool. It doesn't cover your whole leg, so you can still sweat. You can still expose a lot of skin so that you can sweat and stay cool, as I said. Um, the compression and the stretch on these particular tight shorts is just perfect. You feel the support, especially as a male runner, the entire time, and yet the material is light enough that you don't feel like you're overheating. The only knock I have against this particular pair of shorts uh, strange oversight on the part of Saucony is that there are no pockets whatsoever, not even a little inside drop pocket for a key or anything like that. So um, if you are going to purchase these, please keep in mind that you are going to have to find alternate means for carrying gels, for carrying fuel, even for carrying a car key. Um, with that said, folks, you know, the, these are winners. If you're just looking for something to move fast and feel supported, rock on. These are about as good as they get. Um, there you have it, folks. I hope you found this informative. I hope it helped you. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or questions for me after watching this, please drop them below. I'd be more than happy to get to you. And, of course, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'd very much appreciate it. The more people watching, the merrier. Now, with that said, folks, please get healthy, stay strong, and keep pushing. Peace out. I'll catch you next week. Bye-bye.